everybody and welcome back we're on the runway with a very fat plane not only is it fat it's also heavy it weighs about well 150 tons on takeoff and the reason why it's so well pot bellied it's because i need those two big cargo bays why you may ask well that will be revealed later First we have to get this big fat thingy into orbit and that's why I have to watch my thrust and my ascent vector and my velocity and I really need to get this thing up to speed. Okay, first off, the, uh, since it's so heavy and does not have that much uh, of uh, lift due to the tiny wings, it leads the entire runway and now we skipped ahead to about 12 kilometers in above sea level. And yeah, we're already very fast, we're reaching Mach 4 and above, and it's also getting very hot. Let's see how that turns out. Okay, still rising in speed, very... And yeah, this is now a headless chicken. Hmm, not so good, I killed the crew. Again. Of course, this was just a problem with the ascent profile. And after doing some adjustments to that, meaning piloting a little bit better, I managed to clear that danger zone below about well, 20, 20, 200, uh, 20, 22 kilometers, where it's really easy to burn up in the atmosphere when you go too fast. And yeah, here I am already maxing out what I can get out of those rapier engines on liquid fuel alone. And we're about to switch to the closed cycle. There we go. And you may notice that I have switched off, well, not switched mode in four of those engines. The reason being, I have enough thrust to weight ratio with only those I use and therefore I use less fuel. Also, the thrust vector stays more stable that way. So I'm aiming for, well, something between 100 and 150 kilometers uh, of an orbit. I think we're gonna settle for about 120 or something like that. This is looking very good, albeit a little bit fat. As I mentioned, this is a fat SSTO. And circularizing, yes, we are now in a stable orbit, and look at that, beautiful. Now it's time for that special delivery I have mentioned in the title. So let's just adjust our position so we have enough light. And open up those cargo bays, there we go, what may it be? Well, in order to deploy the cargo, we need some help with our little cargo drone. And for that to really work, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and let the music play.
what did I build up there? Well, let's have a look, shall we? You already may have noticed the initials TYS. And well, of course, they stand for... Thanks for watching. Yes, I decided to retire that old statue that waves at you after the end of my videos and I thought I'd replace it with something a little bit more fetching. Well, you may see that at the end of that video, but now it's time to get back to Kerbin. So let's find some uh, periaps adjustments that will work. Let's fire our engines. And yeah, here we are already in the upper atmosphere. And we're sending a course straight to the Kerbal Space Center. And let's see how this thing performs on re-entry. This is actually the first time I have tried it with this vehicle. And right from the start, there appear to be some problems because for some reason it does not want to fly in a straight line. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, the good thing about that is we're bleeding speed really, really well. The bad thing is we're spinning out of control really, really badly. Oh, well. I have made the experience that once you get down to a certain altitude where the air is thicker, you can get, regain control of a vessel spinning out of control in the upper atmosphere. But I'm not so sure I'll manage to do that with this thing. As you may have noticed, the wings are a bit tiny for a ship of that size. And I'm not really sure that we will survive this. Hmm. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby. Ah. Let's hit those engines. Maybe we can adjust a little bit uh, how we're flying with them. No damage so far, but... Well, we're still spinning. No change there. Okay, let's wait until we're... A little bit further down. Whoa, this is really quickly. If those were real pilots, they'll probably be dead now because their brains would be mush. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead a bit because this goes all the way around. And here we are already on our final descent and it's looking very, very bad. Those rapiers are firing. I don't get any aerodynamic stability and... Well, any landing you can walk away is a good landing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.